Set around a family gathering to celebrate Easter Sunday, the comedy is based on Joe Coy's life experiences and stand-up comedy. First of all, Filipinos are high up on the list when it comes to minority groups in America who deserve to see themselves and their culture represented on screen. So this movie deserves to exist and deserves to be seen. Unfortunately, it's nowhere near as good as it should be. In fact, this comedy is not really funny. It's tedious, corny, and unsympathetic. It falls hopelessly flat in its comedic aspirations, more closely resembling a bad stand-up sketch gone horribly wrong. Every joke lands with a thud, every emotional beat falls flat. The interesting cultural elements are undercut by the cartoonish dialogue, characterizations, and situations. Its crime subplots undercut its cultural insights. There's even a high-speed car chase that leads to an unfunny scene in which Joe is awkwardly reunited with his bitter ex-girlfriend. The movie is striving for relevance by throwing in half-baked commentaries on Hollywood's representation problem and jarring side plot involving violent gangsters. Nothing connects in this movie, from unearned cameos and the over-the-top threat of violence lurking around the corner. To be fair, the premise has promise. The tension in the family is ripe for comedy, at least in theory. But aside from the apparent universality of Filipino family in fighting, there are not many actual jokes. Besides, the culturally specific material feels so ironed out that it feels more generic than culturally specific. Instead, the film invests screen time in an increasingly absurd and unnecessary subplots. There's an awkward interruption during an Easter sermon that must have been written so Koi could try out his new material. It literally becomes a stand-up set complete with the annoying laugh track. Only the punchline never lands. If Koi had some kind of charisma to keep this movie going, perhaps it could be salvage. Unfortunately, he's not the most natural actor. He lacks the charisma a leading man needs to hold a project together. He relies on a whole ensemble of seasoned performers surrounding him to lift some of the burden. Unfortunately, while they all try their best, the script just doesn't give them good material to work with. The script simply has zero laughs and cringy execution. The editing is also a mess, the score is generic, and the cinematography is just functional enough to get by. All of this don't matter so much when a comedy makes you laugh, but when it doesn't make you laugh, problems like this become even more apparent and difficult to ignore. Overall, this movie is really bad. We do not recommend this movie at all. Thank <laughs> you.